The Samaritan Community Center opened this brand new facility back in September. Now they want to expand their services even more by offering a counseling center because mental health struggles can impact anyone. This counseling clinic really was birthed out of seeing the need. Kayla Tedder has worn a few different hats at this nonprofit, and now she's stepping in as the organization's new counseling clinic manager. This really difficult correlation between I'm in this really hard spot in my life, and yet I'm still not financially able to access the care that I need. No matter how much money you make, what kind of car you drive, or what your home looks like, talking to one of their four licensed therapists has little to no cost. We serve individuals and families that are at 250% of the federal poverty guidelines or below. Tedder emphasizes that no matter what someone's financial status is, going into therapy before problems get even bigger can relieve a lot of the pressure. It's so hard hard to make the other parts of your life work. It affects how we function at work and in our relationships um, and in our goals and dreams and things we want to do. My favorite um, comment that we've gotten is when somebody has walked in to see our rooms back here and they've said, wow, this looks real. The center prides itself on taking care of the community, already offering a place to pick up free food, clothes, and access services. They come in for the market where they get to choose their own groceries. They come in for the cafe where we have culinary trained chefs providing fantastic food. Chris Kerner, the director of program operations, says it's all about getting people in the door and connecting them to everything they need to live more securely. But we're trying to provide these wraparound services no matter what people's needs are. We've seen people come in and after months of having meals and groceries and talking to our care advocates, you can just see smiles growing and becoming bigger over time. With the message that all are welcome here. We want people to feel like I can come in here, I can be seen and heard and feel valuable and cared about. In Rogers, covering news where you live, Lauren Spencer, 5 News.